How did this flip my camera around? <laughs> Not what I want. There we go. <clears throat> um, what is this stuck on? Hold on. Mess. I still can't see my iPad to see comments. Hello. I'm here. Just a little disorganized. Okay. I do have some new vinyls, but I am making some tumblers today. I want to go over these vinyls because I am obsessed with some of them. These are not all of them. I dropped uh, about 50. I think it was like 48, but I printed just um, some new, some old, but all awesome. Um, come on. Get in my life, thank you. <laughs> yes, I just got on. I'm gonna angle this this way so it's not so weird. Lighting was. <clears throat> So I do have two of these um, that I just released and I'm completely obsessed. So these are the two of the new prints. Um, they're similar. They're not different, but they are similar. But they are so freaking pretty, dude. Look at these. I'm so obsessed. Um, I printed these out because I thought they would go well with um, some of these Aztec ones. They would go well with that. And it would also go well with these. You know what I mean? All of these go really well together. So I had to pull them. Check picks. You get up. Okay. That was interesting. What was interesting? Oh, yeah, yeah. Look at these turquoise ones. Aren't they freaking cool? Dude, I wish I could see, like, the intensity of this. Like the medallion turquoise ones. They look more, they look so blue when I'm looking at it on the iPad. If y'all can see the difference in them, just on the iPad versus in person. <laughs> see what I mean? <laughs> There's a really big difference. They're a lot more teal. So hopefully on your end, you're getting a little bit more of an accurate representation over there. But they look like turquoise in person, even though they do look blue on camera. So pretty. And this is another one that would go great with these. Look at these totems. I love this totem. They would go great with the Aztec. They would go great with the wood grain. It's so freaking cool. Amanda, hello. Oh, you guys, um, looking at this reminded me because somebody earlier said Hell's Gates would go great with this final and they're right, it would. This glitter you can get for free um, today and tomorrow or the last two days. If you have a $75 subtotal in your cart, add this to your cart and it will ring up free. And you can use code SPIRIT to save 10% off of glitters. But that's only good for two more days. Was it gorgeous with it? 
peel roses? Oh, yeah. Probably would. I want to use Helium for something else. This one I had to print just because I wanted to see how beautiful it looked, not on the screen. And it's so freaking cool. I love it. I need to have another hard copy of this one because I like it. It's beautiful. So this one, okay, so like, of course you have to do Christmas, right? But I have to do spooky Christmas. So I did spooky Christmas and look how cute this is. <laughs> Skull ornaments and spider webs. Like these would go so good together. Tell me it wouldn't. Fight me, I dare you. <laughs> They'd be so great. So I need to make something out of these. Advice, yes. <laughs> Halloween year round, yes, exactly. And look at this one. This one is one of the prints that I launched with, I think. And I just never actually printed out a printed one, and nobody ordered one yet. And I had to because this needs to go on something. It's so pretty. The skull one, I know. This one's called Skull, skull Geode 2. So all of your vinyls will come with the name on the bottom of them. Um, and the website, so you, if you want to reorder them, you know where they came from. Um, these roses, so I've got a couple of these roses. I'm going to skip this one for now. Um, I just threw it on the floor like an idiot. So this, I thought, would probably go good together. I thought it would be cool. I love the grungy look of this. It looks so freaking cool. But these roses, they have in a couple different colors, so you can kind of like use them as a secondary vinyl to different designs. Um, so there are a few of them. I only printed out three, it looks like, but there's teal ones. I mean, there's different colors on the website. I want a tumbler of one of them. The Skull Geode one. <clears throat> I noticed when I posted my RTS, 80% of my cups are skulls in Halloween and I don't care. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. This one, it probably got good with the purple roses that I just moved. Probably this one. See? Those would be great together. I love the grungy look. Love them. This one, okay, so I was on a Lisa Frank kick and I printed out some Lisa Frank stuff. Um, you have these roses and then look at these crows. Or these are ravens, sorry, they're ravens. And they would go so good together too. <laughs> look, and then, hold on, hold please. I think I printed them kind of in alphabetical order, so. Look. Look how cute. Come on now. Where are my least afraid people at? It's so perfect. My people will be out there. <laughs> Here's the apples using any of them. Um, I do. I do. Oh. So I have three, I'm just bringing the phone over here. Hey Google, turn the turner light on. These. So these are using the vinyls. This is the Ravens and Roses and this is the Black Lace. So these need to be sanded and they need another coat. But um, these are using those vinyls. This one I finally put epoxy on and um, how beautiful this is. Like, I don't think you can really see the beauty of it. Just look at this. Close up, you can see what's going on with it. But at a distance, it's just not the same. It is so pretty. It is beautiful, but it needs to be sanded. It needs another coat. Hey Google, turn the turner light off. Look how pretty that came out. 
Google's not listening, which is kind of like good timing. This needs another coat. And then this one. Hey Google, turn the turner light off. I was to buy in the last red cup. <laughs> the last red of those? Because you only have one of those claimed. The other ones are still up for grabs. Nobody bought the other one yet. This is so freaking pretty. This one does have one that kind of matches it, but I didn't print it. It's really pretty. So talented. Thank you. Look at the mushrooms. Badass. <laughs> Still time. <laughs> I love this. I love it. This one is Library 3. So um, I had to have some red stuff. Come on, you know, I had to have some red stuff. So we have this cool grungy red looking one. And these, I kind of fell down a skull rabbit hole, y'all. So I have a lot of, I wish I could get these lights to cooperate. This looks so freaking cool. And then look at this one. <laughs> look how badass that is. Jenny, I'm looking at you. It looks so cool. The book for my daughter. Books in horror and red. <laughs> Inspiration colors I sent you for the ombre on the hand. Oh, yes. Okay, I remember. I missed the book one. Oh. Um. Ooh. Hold on. This was the book one. But look at that with this. These would go great together. These though, these are really like, and I like them with these two designs. Is it these two designs? Is it just one here? Look at this one. How cool that is. And in comparison with these, like, they would go really cool together. And same with this. It would go really cool with this. Haunted Mansion? <laughs> it does. This is badass. I could see a geode on here. It is called geode. This is the other one that um, I was thinking of. That one would look good. And probably this one too. It would go great together. This one, I just really have a soft spot for this style. This one I really do like. And this one, so freaking cool. There's more than that. More than that, uh, I'm confused. Roses in that color too, like the library. Um. The library. Oh, yeah. Is this what you meant? Like these? Yes, I do. See other roses? Would definitely cross over. This would be really cool to do like um, a diamond pattern, like a checker pattern sort of, but diamonds. 
and use these four prints for all the different diamonds and then pinstripe them and do solid color glitters in between some of them, you know? I might need to make a template for that because that would be really cool. And then there's this one, which this is also available in a bunch of different colors, but um, I really like this aged looking one. Joey, hello. With Deathbringer, yes. Look how pretty that is. That is beautiful. And that would go cool with a lot of these, actually. Joey, you missed all the cool stuff. Some of the cool stuff. This one is an older print. Um, <coughs> well, none of them are really old because they all kind of just launched, but I thought this would be really cool as like a diamond design in the center of a tumbler and do something around it, you know? It's so vibrant. And this one I'm just freaking obsessed with. Look at that. Where do you get your vinyl? These are from my website. These are from quiltglitter.com. So the bottom of them will have the website and they'll also have the file name, so it's easy to reorder if you want to. But it's so freaking cool, dude. So I kind of want to revisit, especially now because Joey just popped in here. Um, gosh, where were they? <laughs> These. These in the beginning. Because this just the whole natural aspect of almost all of these, these end ones. I'm busy once I started going live regularly. <laughs> it happens, man. It does happen. Look how well they go together, though. Like, you can make a series of tumblers with these. And they would complement these wood grains perfectly. Journal covers? Yes, dude, they would. They would. And then imagine that with these totem guys. Or with these Aztec ones. Like, they just all work. I like them a lot. Um, and then. Let me go over these again because Joey was in here. These were some really pretty turquoise ones that were just released. I really like this one a lot. We have to print them ourselves. It's a huge ship task. Um, I print them and I ship them to you. They are on the website. If you go to the shop page and click on vinyl, that's when you see them all. Um, if you sort from like new to old, it'll show you the new releases, which a lot of these are the new releases. <clears throat> but these, I really like these because I love this and I love it with this. But I also really like how all of these go together. All the butterflies, the library, and these roses. They just look so freaking good together. It's great. So I gotta figure out how I'm doing this, because I don't know. I don't know what my plan is. I kind of got lost. But then all these gothic ones I was looking at together. Because these would go great together. Same with this one. And this would even go good with this one, actually. Those look really good. Do, but I have to design a file to do it and I can't right now. I really like these two together. I really like these two together. 
I like all of these together. <laughs> you guys tell me, what the fuck am I doing? I've got two cups ready to go. I just got to do something with them. I am so torn. The diamond so much. A lot I wanted so badly. <clears throat> the diamond one. Which diamond one? So pretty. Thank you. Oh wait. The crystals? Everything's lost now. <laughs> oh, this one. That one. Frozen thorn with skull and butterfly. This, these two. I like that. I can get behind that. And then I really like this combo too. I do have two cups, so these could potentially be two cups. Um, <laughs> these are cool, cringy ones. Very cool bright ones. I'm really a sucker for these Lisa Franklin's though, for real. Look how cute these friggin' frogs are. She's like a Lisa Frank tumbler. The roses and the ravens match perfectly. Jessica will love those. Yeah, she would. Yeah, she would. And we got this one that I thought would go good together. Ravens and roses again with different roses. And then these I thought would go good together. Can't beat us. This is just beautiful. Purple roses? Yes. Did I order the frogs and rainbows? I don't remember. And this one, I just, I'm, I have to do something with this. I have to combine these two vinyls, which by the way, if y'all want to, it's uh, Snowflakes 12 and Spooky Christmas 3 are the names of these two. This is just like spooky ornaments with spider webs. And then of course your skulls and snowflakes um, because we're not normal here <laughs> but I have to do a tumbler with this maybe not today but I have to do a tumbler with this it's just so freaking pretty okay, this, aside. Um, this is the second best-selling vinyl that I have and it's for good reason it's just stunning And this, which I really want to do something with this because it's so pretty. I want to do something using Hell's Gates. This goes well with um, the one that I lost back here somewhere. I'm going to stick it next to it and move the fuck on. <laughs> that one. Go great with that one. Thank you. What's your first? The Ravens and Roses. The Ravens and Roses is the best selling one. The one that's on the cup that you like. Your Geo one. Which is my favorite one. Actually, those are my two favorite vinyls in the shop, so I like that they're both the best selling ones. Alright. 
so I've got two tumblers ready to go and three potential cups. <laughs> this is that one. This one. I don't have enough room on my desk for all these 12 by 12s, yeah. And this one. I like them all. I'm kind of favoring those two. But I really kind of want to do two of these together because I think that they're both earthy. But this one is totally calling me. Maybe I just need a third cup. <laughs> address again. I like the stack. <laughs> the skull butterfly one. I do too. What would I do with this though? Because um, instinctively it's... Man, I don't know where to start with it. I pulled two cups out and I can have plenty of cups. I can pull more out but these are cups that I had actually um, stripped before. But um... I don't know where to go about doing this. Looking at my other vinyl, there's no clue why I bought it. <laughs> 75 for Hellscape. Looking at my other vinyl, there's no clue why I bought it. <laughs> 75 for Hellscape's free, or is that included with vinyls? Um, it's your order total. So as long as your order total hits 75, um, Hell's Gates will be free. And then if you have $100 um, subtotal, it'll be free shipping too. So for this one, I kind of see a solution on this one. I kind of want to wrap them spiral around the cup. Like this. Um, I would have to cut this one because I don't want to do it sideways, but. And then glitter a strip between them. Maybe I won't do it sideways on the cup. Who's to say I can't? I do want to do it sideways because you'll see more of the pattern. Alright, so I know what I'm doing with these two. Do a swirl, sort of. These two, though. <coughs> neon color bright. They're so pretty. Thank you. I like the neon ones. The neon ones make me happy. <laughs> um, what am I doing with this, though? I don't have a little acrylic thing. I can cut out a diamond in the center of it. Which would be freaking badass, actually. I could, and then kind of apply it like a template. I have to cut it on the Cricut. And then wrap it like a template with transfer tape. Diamond pattern. That's what's going on this one. This. I have time to think about it, but that is next. <laughs> These two, um, I'm going to cut these on a 20 just because of the angle they're going on. I don't think it matters as long as I cut the two strips. Sure, what we're doing here, but we don't figure it out. Um, <clears throat> so I'm going to say two inches. Oh, 
it's not really big though. Let's go two and a half. I can always cut more if I need to. crazy when you're doing your cups and like they're not super precision or you just kind of wing it like Joey does because I need that in my life but I don't have that I don't have the balls to just wing it I don't trust myself <laughs> Joey's just like this is gonna go here this is gonna go here and I'm gonna trust the process and I'm just it works out great for her <laughs> these around my cup here and here and I'm gonna glitter the two sections in between I think it's gonna be beautiful I could even throw a third vinyl on here if I wanted to honestly I could do I want to this one. I don't even know what it would potentially work. These are brights. These are just the brights. These are very bright. Got the garage floral skulls. Too much? Too much. third could either be more purple or that which is really pretty or I can go more purple I go with more purple so torn <laughs> I kind of want to go with this for variety hello how's it going but I really do like the purple it'd be different if I had a fourth one to put in between these two to break it up but I don't that's the limitation so you're gonna have two right next to each other Granted, I could break it up with the glitter choice between these two, because there will be glitter running between them. Purple? Did you get live restricted? No, I just lost interest because um, when I'm not doing templates, when I'm going through stuff, people kind of drop off. They find it boring, I guess, because I'm always doing templates and that's what they expect. <clears throat> break it up with glitter. Do purple and break it up with glitter? that once they get going but as long as I'm figuring out what the fuck I'm doing <laughs> I'm 
I'm not gonna bother with it. around this guy and it's gonna be beautiful I can get spacing right but that's how it's gonna be all right <clears throat> this one um, I think I'm gonna cut on Cricut What's setting though? Because I wanted to cut all the way through. <coughs> I don't know what's setting to cut all the way through this vinyl. Let me just do the one cup first, I guess. test cut and see what happens. <sighs> this awesome coffin cradle is from Jenny. I don't know if he's still in here. Um, we're going to go extreme on this one. There's better and more precise ways to apply vinyl to your tumbler, but have you met me? I'm kind of a I can do it all. <laughs> Any way that I feel like it. And then blur it later. <laughs> This is a coffin shaped tumbler cradle, so it just holds my cup as I'm working. <clears throat> um, so now we gotta figure out spacing. So I have to throw this guy on there, which is so freaking pretty, dude. Oh my gosh, I love this. And then I also have to put. This is hard. For the record, in case you didn't know, this is hard. <laughs> you know what? Maybe I should go closer. Maybe I should go closer for these two and have a thin line of glitter and then have a bigger gap between the two purples because they are, they're both purple. Maybe I should do that. Just not worry about that gap and just worry about this. I'm gonna do that. Love that. Hello. you up to Amanda? I'm about to make a really bad decision. 
<laughs> I feel like I am, anyway. I feel like there's probably a much easier way to do this, and you guys are like, you dummy, I want you to do it this way. Here I am doing it the complicated way because I haven't worked with vinyl in a very long time. Probably since 2022. Other than my Raven one that I did kind of struggle with. decision is happy accidents. I don't know why I'm just not tearing this off. Rather than doing this, that was dumb. Same purpose. Or same end result, I mean. Because I don't need it on there, it's just in my way. <clears throat> Alright, so I just need to get a consistent line on this tumbler. after that, I don't care. <laughs> Alright, that's all I need. I'm in the right spot. I can figure the rest out. This is not... Okay, y'all. I'm sorry. I'm making this way more complicated than it needs to be. Don't look to me for advice on vinyl yet. I can give it to you. Can give you vinyl and it will be great but when it comes to using it I'm very much out of practice listen to anybody else but me got a bubble under there but it's fine a couple bubbles but I will squeeze them out can't see comments right now because I'm really focusing on, on not fucking this up as I'm fucking this up so yeah sorry about that oh my gosh look what I'm doing to this don't be me y'all I'll take all the advice because I'm kind of losing my mind over here it's gonna be a better way like transfer tape Transfer tape would be a better way. I'm over here, like, messing it up now. Transfer tape would be a better way. A way better way than what I just did. That was complicated. That was unnecessary. <laughs> Very unnecessary. I got bubbles in it. Some bubbles. Oh, that was easy. Damn. Okay. Holy shit. I like this stuff. thin line on this one and I'm gonna do the same thing here I'm gonna put a thin line between the purple here um, and whatever space is left over here will hopefully be larger which is kind of what I want because these are both purple it is it'll be larger I want a little bit more room between them because of that your language oh 
Oh, I respect the difference there, but uh, there ain't no point in me watching my language because I'll, I'll fail again five minutes later. That is how we do here. Fancy button back, so special. <laughs> I'm failing miserably. I'll get over this, it's fine. I mean, to yell at y'all, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm a thinner line. I have to relearn how to vinyl. I don't remember how to do this. I never really did a lot of vinyl, I just kind of messed around with it a few times. And then uh, stuck with templates. <laughs> All right. Ooh, I just got a notification that my Ruby mail is shipping. All right, let's see if I can fuck this up some more. Yeah, I see. I think I'm pulling it too hard too, so I'm like really messing with it. I lost stuff over here yanking on it. But I'm just gonna roll it flat and see what happens. I really need one of those squeegee things that Debbie gave me and I always forget to use. You know this useful thing that's meant for exactly this thing that I, I never use it for? Oh look how smoothly this works. Except for the part that I stretched and messed up. I'm still getting some bubbles, but that's because of me and my impatience. See these tools, y'all? They have tools for this stuff. <laughs> and it's going on sideways. Do I care? I mean, I kind of like it. I have so many bubbles in this. Oh my gosh. Y'all gotta teach me how to use vinyl. <laughs> Look at this. Can y'all see all these bubbles? It's crazy. I don't give a fuck, so it'll come out, but damn. I think, um, I've seen somebody use transfer tape one time when they were applying, like, they were putting a whole sheet of vinyl over a tumbler. I'm like, why are you doing that? Why don't you just wrap it around there? Like the hinge method, like I do with templates? smart. I was being ignorant. <laughs> Y'all give me your vinyl secrets. I need them. <laughs> I need to like watch Joey. She knows what the hell she's doing with vinyls. <sighs> They've been down this path. They have. Poke them with a the waiting pen. I am. All the purples. I need to send the new ones. What new ones? Ruby, hello twin. I was just talking about you. That's your email. Ruby knows how to work with vinyls. 
me some Ruby advice over here. I'm over here like fucking up this whole cup. I mean, I can hide it. I have ways. I can totally hide it. But it'd be nice if I knew how to not fuck it up to begin with. Y'all are learning with me. Y'all are learning what not to do. If y'all ain't work with vinyls, man, I'm not the one. I can sell them to you. I promise I am not the one to learn from. I need to get used to using these things. This is gonna be beautiful. I cannot wait. All right, let me cut this off. The roses and the ravens she is coming home. It's awesome. That is awesome. Bubbles happen. Wording your site because I know you got Christmas vinyls I want and I'm trying not to spend. <laughs> You've been down this path. <laughs> Um, I didn't drop that many new Christmas ones. Only a couple. I mean, in, unless you're talking about the ones from before. I don't remember which ones were dropped when you ordered last. But just today I dropped, or last, well, actually it was probably today when I was dropping them last night. It's probably really early in the morning today. Um, I only dropped a very small amount of Christmas ones. Like apply vinyl like perfectly crystal you go talk to her want to know her where he goes and be like how the fuck do you do this crystal does it perfectly every time and i don't know how I, I have one. <laughs> I do have one. Um, I just don't feel like adjusting it because I have it set for templates. And I'm cutting lower right now. And it's not one that you can just click and move. You have to like take it apart and stuff. But I'm going to glitter the bottom anyway, so I'm really not worried about that part. But, I mean, this is going to be pretty. <laughs> as complicated as it most. There's some more bubbles. But it is going to be very pretty when I'm done. Maybe I'll even make a custom decal and have them um, order it as a DTF from Molly. And use it on this. You better watch. The lanch will be up here again, scolding. <laughs> oh, I miss Kelsey. Kelsey, hello woman, Rebecca. Definitely need a spending break. I didn't see me I spent some money last night and it says that I needed, I mean, it was a little between need and want. I could have waited, but I got it anyway. So 
I kind of did some spending last night. So I need a spending break too. Tried these like stevia sodas. I just bought like a variety pack and they're kind of weird. <laughs> they don't hit the spot for me, but I, th I think it's possible that I might get used to. They don't hit the spot for me, but I, th I think it's possible that I might get used to. I'm just not there yet. <clears throat> The black cherry one's all right. Okay. My concern with this is if I cut this on the Cricut, it might not perfectly cut out my thing. But if I try to perfectly cut out my thing, I also might not perfectly cut out my thing. So, studio is weird already. I didn't know they made soda. <laughs> well, I was watching something. Um, it was on the keto diet but there's like a healthy keto versus just whatever the fuck you want keto and one of the things he was talking about was um stevia sodas I didn't know they had them either until um I watched that video and I was doing a Walmart order if I go into Walmart I'm gonna buy a whole bunch of shit I don't need so I figured I'd just order it and as I was scrolling I found that and I ended up ordering a whole bunch of shit I didn't need <laughs> Anyway, I came home with it. It's eh. I might be able to get used to it, but for now it's eh. Alright, so this... I think I might just wrap my whole cup with this. <clears throat> and then cut this into a diamond and then tape off an area to glitter around that. I can see that working. Let's start there. coffee. No, I haven't. <clears throat> the root beer? Did I try the root beer? I think I did. It's because I had a variety pack and I'm pretty sure it was in there. With grunge lace number two. Ooh, I don't remember which grunge lace that is, but I love the grunge lace ones. They are beautiful and I definitely want to try them. <laughs> I want to try all of them. So I'm going to try and be kind of responsible and trim this because I don't want to be wasteful and I can probably use it for something else. So, um, we'll cut off right above that leaf. These are roses four. I have these in a couple different colors. I just really like the, you know, grungy looking gold color. <coughs> I need to figure out Kelsey's technique for applying these things straight because I'm about to fuck it all up. I'm gonna do it the same way I do templates. upside down but I'm not doing it the same way I do templates <clears throat> just because I did already oh you know what I trimmed it <laughs> duh let's do it like this <laughs> do it like this and you're good One section stuck. And then I will use my tool like a good girl. Damn, should have said that. I'm gonna trigger y'all. And uh, make this work the way it's supposed to. I'm gonna book talk people about to come for me. <laughs> Alright, 
Dude, I like the way that looks right there. Dude, I want to leave. Okay, that's an idea. Joey, are you still in here? Um, what if you leave paper behind vinyl just so you can get that look? You know what I mean? Because I kind of like the way that it looks there. To give more 3D effect to your work. together. I need this. I am not. I appreciate the motivation, but I am not. <laughs> the input, the positive words, so I am not doing great right now. Oh shit, see what I mean? Even the vinyl sitter shit. If y'all want to learn templates, man, I got you. You don't want to learn vinyl. I need advice first. This <laughs> ain't it for me. I'm enjoying this, trying to figure it out thing. But this is not stationary. It's moving all over the place. I need to put something underneath it so it doesn't move all over the place. Yeah, my cup is not even still. It wants to spin. Just not good for me. What did I say I need to put under this? I meant to say I need to put like silicone or rubber or something under it. I don't know what I said. I think I said vinyl. Even with those giant ones. Practice makes all those perfect. Practice is gonna laugh in my face. <laughs> That's what's gonna happen. <laughs> Practice is gonna be like, bitch, there is no hope for you. Give up now. This is also probably a bad idea. Um, do I care? Yeah, I do. <laughs> I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna do something dumb and try to use a ruler to cut a straight line on a round thing that does not want to be still. Let's see how disastrous this is. And I got caught on my ruler. Part though is not. Hey, look, I did something right. Ha! Success! I can't cut it like that to save my life. I always mess it up. What with a ruler? I understand why though. I mean, it's, I don't, it seems like, oh, what happened here? <laughs> it seems like a disaster of an option, which clearly it was for me because I'm not doing so hot right now. It would help if I had my pen out, huh? Bunch of holes, bunch of holes. This is not this is gonna be a wonderful live replay. People are gonna be watching me for the first time and come across this live and be like, why the fuck does she have three years worth of videos if this is the shit she's putting out? <laughs> if you got this far into the video. Not yet. Give me time. Give me time. <laughs> With or without the ruler? It's so hard, dude. Like, it really is. I really want to make this a grungy cup too, so like I'm really not mad that I have bubbles in here because it'll just give it to- Oh, Apply vinyl bad on purpose. I 
and smush out all the bubbles. And you'll have some really cool texture going on. I'm just saying. It would work. Is there an easy way to... I'm not even gonna try. <laughs> you just filing it? No, I'm gonna do glitter too. I just, I really don't know what the hell I'm doing, if I'm being honest with you. Like, it's had, I wanted to do vinyls. You know, I do templates all the time and stuff, and it's cool. But I have all these really cool vinyls that I'm selling now, and I don't even get to use them. <laughs> and I typically, puzzle piece, don't get me, please. Dude, I had 30 seconds left on that. I almost died. Okay, hold on. Okay, there you go. Um, I forgot what I was saying. What was I saying? Damn it. Oh, because I do templates all the time and I want to play with the vinyls because they're really cool and I know I'm not going to get the views from it, which is fine. <laughs> Socks, but whatever, it's fine. I'm having fun and that's important to me too. <clears throat> uh, hold on. Oh, yes. Hold on, let me... <clears throat> Come on. Here we go. Alright, sorry, y'all. But basically, moral of the story, I have no idea what the fuck I'm doing. That is moral of the story. Um, I'm gonna treat this like a foxy and hope it works out well. This section is being a little weird. I do need a new uh, blade. I have new blades everywhere except in here. I bought a box of 24 of them. I'm like, I'm not gonna run out anytime soon. And then I don't even include it in the main room that I need it in. Story of my life. I probably will go back and use the trimmer thing on this because I want steel exposed at top, not just vinyl, because I want a good seal on it. But um, I'll worry about that later. No, where's that? <laughs> All right, so um, I need to cut this into a diamond, but I want it centered around this guy, and I don't know the best way to do that. Um, unless I pick like a landmark. symmetrical so I could pick that in here that would be a really tall diamond fuck it we don't do it I don't know what I'm doing but we don't do it I'm gonna cut my desk you know as many times as I've cut on my desk why is this stuck um I don't have any marks on it and I can't tell you why makes no sense. There is no professional anything going on here, so if you're, like, watching for that, it's not the right place. Just saying. <laughs> not today. <laughs> not today, anyway. <laughs> and I cut here. So this one, I, um, because the design is symmetrical, I can just match up the pattern on both sides and cut. So as long as this ruler doesn't move, it will still be a diamond pattern and I don't need a template thing or a Cricut. Then I gotta do the same thing here. 
here, which is how far away from the top, so center of his teeth. To where though? I'm gonna say here. Center of his teeth to the bottom of that thing. Whatever that is. Dun dun dun. to do that. Sorry for you, I know I am wasting you, even though I don't have a use for you at the moment. Cool. So I have a really cool diamond pattern that is actually centered. Awesome. Now I don't know what to do with it. Because <laughs> it didn't cut all the way through and that would have been nice. Where's my thing? Because it didn't cut all the way through and that would have been nice. Where's my thing? I guess I just try to, I could have drawn lines and then cut it, huh? If my head gets in the way, I'm sorry. I do have a big head. I'm gonna cut slightly inside the line just so I don't run the risk of having a double one. This is the most clusterfuck of a live y'all have ever seen. It has to be. Definitely for me. Without a doubt. But I mean, I'm probably topping some people <laughs> when it comes to clusterfuck. <laughs> Molly, hello. <laughs> Amanda. I don't know what the hell's going on today, y'all. Sorry, it's just. I'm having fun and I'm not caring about what's going on, which is kind of a nice change. I need that. Cricket. Have you been in my lives? <laughs> Not in a minute. I've been like really bad at being in people's lives lately. Okay, so center mark is right there. So this guy will apply on my cup like this. I kind of want to go a little bit higher on that front. This is going to be so freaking cool, dude. Look at this. Now, I am going to include glitter on this, but this is going to be beautiful. Damn. I, wish I, I hope I can apply this straight because I'm be mad if it's like all <sighs> mead. <laughs> It's not going to be cool if I screw it up. As I pursue, proceed to screw it up. By um, not giving a fuck. It's 
see how this goes. <laughs> Can you hear the faith I have in myself? <laughs> I mean, this ain't going so bad so far. Okay, I'm not mad. I'm not mad. Of course, I could change it any second. This is me we're talking about. I already got bubbles in it. I don't know how I did that, but I did. I need to learn how to do this properly. I've got more bubbles in it. Look what I'm doing. How am I doing this? I'm trying so hard. <laughs> <laughs> Whoops. All right, that's fine. <laughs> I do want to make this grungy, so I really don't mind too much. There is a perfectionist streak in me, though, that's kind of freaking the fuck out, even though I know I want it to be grungy in the end. I want it to be grungy from my intentional doing. And you would have to go right on my skull face, huh? You know, a thing I've been saying a lot lately is say it to my face. And of course it happens on my face. Alright. You can do it. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> I'm not so sure. I mean, in the end, it'll be fine. So I'm not giving up. This cup is going to be badass. Whether it wants to be or not. But. It's going to take more effort to fix it than it is to make it. At this point, I feel like <clears throat> this is gonna be freaking sweet. I like it a lot. So, um, where am I glittering? I want to glitter. Hmm. I think I'm gonna glitter twice. I'm gonna have two stripes of glitter one on the outside of this vinyl and one on the inside of this vinyl. I think I'm gonna use electrical tape to mask it off because it's about the right width that I want to use. It'll work. When in doubt, throw some pink on <laughs> Molly! <laughs> pink is not happening. Oh, wait. I have the um, double sided um, template tape stuff. Hold on, let me. Do one on the outside and one on the inside. Do I want them to be the same width? Originally, I was going to do them the same width. I don't think so. I think I'm gonna do a skinny one and this one. I'm not gonna use that one. Everyone knows pink is crazy. You know, honestly, I was looking at my shop the other day and I'm like. Why do I have more pink than any other color? If you look at my glitters and you sort by color, there's more pink than anything. Like, how does that happen? <laughs> so, there might be something to that. I do really like burgundy. And I do really like, um, like, really deep magentas. So, I mean... There is kind of some shit going on there, you know? <laughs> I've gotten her to almost admit it before. Look, you promised you weren't going to tell anybody about that. <laughs> I vaguely remember that being part of the conversation. <laughs> Secretly love pink, I'm afraid to say it. 
Um, I don't know. Dude, I'm not really to admit it to myself. So even if I did like pink and I finally came to terms with it, like, I wouldn't admit it to y'all just because I wouldn't admit it to me. So, I mean, there's probably truth to that, too. <laughs> Oh, you know what? Probably should have. Uh, that's fine. That is fine. I'm having fun with this. I know it's not my typical lives and it's definitely a clusterfuck, but I am having fun with this. I like not knowing what I'm doing and just doing it anyway. <laughs> you learn things about yourself. You do learn things about yourself. Like how much I supposedly like pink. <laughs> excited for this tumbo for real. I am very excited to finish this one. Um, do I want to leave that out there? Oh, y'all can't really see what I'm doing, can you? Sorry, y'all. whole bunch of bubbles right there but it's cool is this gonna be under some tape in a minute <laughs> wonder if I can hell yeah alright so that's gonna be one color of glitter and I think I am gonna use the thick one for the second one just because when I pinstripe over it it's gonna cover up some of the glitter. So, um, I'm being proactive. <laughs> this will be my second glitter color. Whatever that will be, I don't know. My ring keeps spinning. And other thing too, because I'm I always do uh, words, Kristen. Damn it. Um, I always do templates, <laughs> so it's not often that I'm actually um, glittering the bottom of my tumblers because I don't typically glitter the bottom of my template tumblers. And I, um, all of the turners, all of the cups on my turners right now have the bottoms done, and it's kind of nice just to be able to go straight to epoxy and not worry about taping them off. I do like that. I can't wait to put glitter on these. I should probably wait till the end to clean all this shit up, but um, I'm too OCD for that, so here we are. It's like I'm taking this pretty cup and I'm making it look ugly now because it's like, why is white on here? <laughs> 
So I'm saying to myself, like, what the fuck is White doing here? I found this skull at um, Home Goods, and it's um, it was a really pretty white skull, and it had like flowers on it. But the colors on it were so light. Um, I almost didn't bring it home, but it, it was pretty, so I brought it home. And um, now it just kind of glows in my living room because <laughs> it's so light. It's funny, and it doesn't have a spot in my house that it belongs. It just glows over there in the corner. I'm reluctant on where to put this. I'm going to put it here. It'll overlap it. It should be fine. I think, um, I should probably wait until after I glitter this to cut this stuff off so I can see my rim. Um, <clears throat> that way I can get a good seal with the epoxy. Francesca, hello. <clears throat> How are you doing? Alright. So this chaotic shit going on down here is gonna have to stay for now, I guess. It is so cool. You know, I'm debating. You know what? Why didn't I think of that when I was doing this one instead of worrying about this because I was going to hand paint, you know, the glue and then glitter it? Why didn't I just use the striping tape? I'm not going to. I could put striping tape over this, but I, um... I think I want to use a thicker... Cuts, which are not going to work well with template tape anyway. Amandala coin last night. What a journey. <laughs> That's awesome. I really want to clean this up, but my dumbass wants to sit here with a razor and like spin it like it's going to be even. Oh, fuck, it ain't going to be even. This is me we're talking about. <laughs> This is kind of a wild live, y'all. I'm sorry. But I'm having fun. I don't know if y'all are having fun, but I'm having fun. So I, these little vinyl cuts. Like, I don't know what I'm going to do with these because they were all over the place. But I'm not mad. I will use them for something because I really like them. You could probably do like a shattered glass type tumbler with them. I think it'd be neat. <clears throat> All right, so glitters. Um, I definitely see a silver on this, but I also have to kind of keep in mind um, the tape that I'm using to pinstripe the tape. You know what I mean, pinstriping. <coughs> Can I want to use pure silver? Maybe I should use parchment. Or chalice, or something else. Kind of hard to see right here. Hey Google, go back to white. Everything got really bright. Champagne chandelier. 
villain, villainous. Did I grab bronze? Where's bronze? Being lonely over here by itself. This one, the bronze. Um, I kind of see this going really well. I was thinking a light and a dark, but not too dark, like a darker. I was thinking villainous, but no, I don't want to do either one of these. It's pretty, and it would have a lot of kick, but it does have a green flash. Which would be cool if I did green striping tape. I keep calling it striping tape, like it's not vinyl. It would be a cool kick of color to throw in there. Or... I do have a really badass green vinyl I haven't used yet. That would be really cool. Hex would also be a cool option for this. Alright, so... That's a maybe. This is a no. This is... Mm, mm. Maybe. Yes. If I go green, this is a maybe. It's a maybe. Antique gold, but it's gonna clash with the background, so I'm gonna say no. Bronze, I'd say is a yes. All right, so these are my maybes, <laughs> and these are my yeses. Maybe I should stick with my two yeses. Or should I get complicated and ombre things? I could make at the top dark an ombre and make it a little bit lighter. Or do the opposite, make it dark and ombre and make it go a little bit lighter. In which case it would probably be these two and these two. When down ombre. I don't know if I want an ombre though. I'm looking at it, I'm like, it looks really good. Do I want an ombre? What if I have a brown? brown for depth for the ombre and not use a lot of it just a little bit to give it character and then chandelier I don't know I think I'm making it complicated <laughs> Yeah. 
chandelier to silver or champagne to chandelier well chandelier fuck it I'm gonna do an ombre ombre wins I'm not convinced it's the best idea but I'm doing it And I still don't know what colors I'm doing on the other one. I'm wondering if I should start with that one and then do this one. Just because um, while it dries, I could be working on that and go back to this one for a second coat. So, hey Google, go back to white. Hey Google, go back to white. Turn my lights on. Thank you. Okay. Um. What the hell? You can make up your mind, Google. Hey Google, go back to white. This one would be pretty. This one would be pretty. I have a newt. Might be cool to throw in there. I'm looking at this orangey color. Um, I think there's too much reds, but that one would work. Bringing in those teals would be cool. Silver, a little bit of yellow. Um, so teals. Alienate? Is it too much? Hellion's probably too much. Dark arts is really pretty. Maybe another black mix, like, maybe not avoid it. Um, Aquarius? Aquarius and Nicole. They do want to use black and not straight black. 
Aquarius of Nights. So I have not gotten Aquarius, you are missing out. Look how beautiful that is. Screenshot away. Because it is phenomenal. I don't want to put purple in there. I'm going to use these colors, so I'm going to leave it at that. <clears throat> I'm just going to do that. And the bottom, I will probably just mix them all together and do that for the bottom. <clears throat> lights back to where they were. Alright. Oh, I don't need these. This is going to be pretty. three colors on each stripe but I feel like I probably should but in different orders <clears throat> I think I will and I'll mix them in the end for the bottom set but so this one is autumn equinox and it's a chameleon it's kind of like a flame colored chameleon this one glowing greed is also a chameleon Very pretty. Green, teal, deep navy blue, color chameleon. And this one is a fan favorite, Aquarius, <clears throat> which is a black with iridescent in there. And holy shit. That's all I have to say about that one. That one speaks for itself. Should I take this off? Probably. Should I do that now? Probably. It'd be smart, wouldn't it? As I keep painting with glue. I'm really not worried about the edges too much just because um, I'm gonna pinstripe them anyway, so if they get a little fucked up, I shall fix them later.
Um, <clears throat> you'll probably hear me say this a lot, but makeup brush holders are great for holding your brushes when they have glue on them. <laughs> so I'm going to lead with what? What am I leading with? <clears throat> Black on top. That's what I'm leading with. I'm gonna get a second coat, by the way. This is going to be pretty. enjoying that giving effect today. Sorry. Not yet. I have to order it and I um actually I forgot. Thank you for reminding me. I need to reach out to them. Um actually I do have one in stock. Um if you're ready to check out, let me know and I'll put that one in stock and you can grab it. I had somebody else that wanted it and they uh I sent them an invoice for it but they didn't want it. 
Actually, let me write that down. Where's my journal? Hiding under vinyl. Um, where's my pen? Where's today? Today is Wednesday. No problem. <clears throat> I do need to order it. I um, actually forgot about it. <laughs> One of those things that um, I never wrote down. I should have wrote down. Because I forget. Until y'all say something. <laughs> yeah. But I do have one tape left if anybody wants the tape. I do have one. I need to just update inventory on it. I was holding it first because somebody asked if... Um, the same situation, they asked if I had any, and I did. I had one. <laughs> I sent them an invoice so they didn't have to worry about somebody else taking it out from underneath them, but, um, they didn't want it. <clears throat> Where is... There is now one available on the website. Whoever wants to go snag it. Oh, you hear my kid in there? The boys in there talking shit. Should I take this off? I've been smarter. But am I doing the smart thing today? No. No, I am not. I'm doing things the hard way today, apparently. <laughs> I kind of, um, I feel like it was a missed opportunity because how this is wider at the bottom than at the top. I really like that and I kind of wish I did that on all of them. I mean, I could. I could widen them with the glue, like I'm doing with this unintentionally. That's what we're just thinking, ma'am. So this one is leading with orange, okay. It's Anna's favorite color right here. Well, it's probably red, but you know what I mean. mix underneath here that was really pretty.
this is where we're at. And I'm gonna glitter the bottom of this real quick. <clears throat> we're just gonna be dumb to do with this little brush, but it's the only one that's dirty, so we're going for it. Tan that I'm spinning the cup with is shaky. Our carpal tunnel, ugh, can you even speak? Carpal tunnel is acting up, so it's making me making a straight line here really difficult. Yeah, the mix is going on the bottom. Um, and you got a cut for this. I was gonna throw it on another piece of paper, but I don't see it's kind of done. I'm not even going to mix it really because I kind of want the colors to be a little sporadic. I know this is not great coverage down here right now, but this is only first coat. I will do another coat. This is going to be so pretty with pinstriping. I cannot wait. <clears throat> it's really pretty with pinstriping. I will accumulate more glitter for this after I do the second coat. Once that dries. And then I will do another coat on the bottom. My desk is such a clusterfuck right now. I'm not used to this. I'm not used to having more than one project going at a time. Alright, so this one, um, we are going to do, I might throw Aquarius on the bottom, um, but we are going to do, I'm not ombreing this, do I really want to ombre this? I don't think I'm really going to notice a difference. That would be the center, that would be the outside, and then for the outside, will be in the center and then it'll be outside. I think it'll look nice. I think I'm just overthinking it right now. 
use these darker ones first. So I'm gonna go in with Ancient Bronze and Ominous Grove. And that is going to be the thick lines. of lint flying across me. I'm actually going to start with a lighter color in the middle because I have more control over that than I do the top right now. I was thinking I might do the bottom of this in Aquarius, but maybe I'll do the same thing. I'll use the fallout. I kind of like that idea. I don't know why this one's kind of um, blowing towards me. excited when he plays and gets kind of loud. I spend too much time doing these ombres even though they're so simple and I just I am OCD that's not part of me and my quirks and whatever but um yeah I do think I spend too much time doing them sometimes side. This 30 ounce cups hurt my hand. Ooh, that's really pretty. It's 
really pretty. I need to get another cup so I can throw this together for the bottom. All right. <clears throat> and then I'm gonna use chandelier for the lighter color in the second ombre. Um, and this one has pure silver in it, which is made of real silver. And then champagne, which I don't know how really, I think I might use a different color than champagne because it's too similar to chandelier. Maybe I'll grab a parchment. for the second color, which is that one. I'm not going to see too much of a difference in these two, <clears throat> but I'm going to do them anyway. I have been known to appreciate subtle. Okay, which side do I need to start here? underneath everything. Definitely underneath that one. Is it pushed down all the way? It is now. center color. Dude, this is really pretty. I kind of just want to do the whole thing in that color. What would be really cool too is just to ombre it into nothing. Which I'm also not going to do, but thinking out loud and shit. over this because I don't feel like I need to. Oh my gosh. Do I hear him? For real? <laughs> Let me text him. Roses, man. I can't wait to put pinstriping on this. It's gonna look so cool. I'm gonna pinstripe. 
the borders of it, but I'm also going to bring the pinstriping out here too. In here I'm not, but out here I am. I might, maybe one. Your tape back in stock. There is one template tape available um, that I just updated, unless somebody just took it. They did not. As of right now, it is still available. I just updated it because I had one spare. Um, I need another school thing. Man, this is, uh, where do I grab this? Okay. cup's gonna be beautiful man oh I need to do the bottom of that one I did not do that yet this is this one this is this one so that I do not need to do a second coat on but I will need to do a second coat for the base though I'm wondering if I should just do the base dark rather than using this mix I feel like I kind of feel like I should second coat on this tumbler. I don't know if y'all can see it on the screen. Depending on what device you're using, it might look different. <clears throat> yeah, I'll use this. It's really pretty. dirty up another one to do. I don't even care about that, do I? I should care about that. I was going to trim this final up, but now um, I'm over here painting over it. With glue. <laughs> Which I guess is fine. I thought I had something else on my thing. Matt.
I like that mix. I don't know how well you can see it on camera. I really do like the mix. Hey Google broadcast. What's the message? Striker, quiet down. Okay, broadcasting now. Okay. <clears throat> This one is going to be so pretty. Oh my gosh. Can't wait to pinstripe the sky. It's going to be beautiful. I like that this glue is thickening up. It's going to be nice to work with. striping tape <coughs> this stuff um, Amazon I got that from Amazon I forgot what I looked double-sided mm, something I don't remember what I looked up I bought it years ago
really high up, y'all. I didn't mean to <laughs> put y'all in the ozone layer together. Hello, how's it going? Man. I always get so much on the, of the blue. messing around not really knowing what the hell I was doing and um here I am <laughs> hello it's really pretty thank you we're going to that one and then this guy but um He's in timeout at the moment while he dries because I need to do a second coat on the bottom of that one. vinyl sitting out for a third but I don't think I'm gonna do that today Thank you. 
so much blue. Look how beautiful this color is, though. This is glowing green. It's so easy to ombre this one. It just does it for you, basically. <laughs> much of it gets on the brush too. It's not one that you have to fight to get to cooperate for sure. It is the easy child. Christmas light template yesterday made it glow and during a fantasy. Ooh, that's gonna be awesome. I wonder how difficult it would be. Um, you know how people do string lights and stuff, but to incorporate string lights into a template is that too complicated? I've never done string lights before. That would be a cool template to do it on. Or the fantasy one, actually, both of them. Be really neat. I thought I'd doing it, but got scared. <laughs> I don't blame you. I've never messed with them at all because I'm scared. I feel like I would totally screw that up. And realistically, it's one of those things like I do it once, I learn my lesson, I do it twice, and I figured it out, but. Um, it's just so outside the box of what I'm used to doing that I'd have to have more time set aside to explore it. I don't usually have that much time. Like today I was gonna go on live, but I wanted to print some new vinyls out and they just took a lot longer to print than I anticipated. And I also printed a lot more than I realized I did. <laughs> That's why I ended up going live so late. I'm always spring up my time. I could use a bigger brush for this, but I'm over here like, well, this one's already dirty. Let's just do it. <laughs> and I should have just got a bigger brush. I guess it's not hurting anything though. So let's add this glitter into our cup. Is it this one? No. This one. Not sure what to do yet with the vinyl. Um, the vinyl is one of those things, like, I overthink it. If I just, like, threw stuff together and then followed my inspiration for the next step, I probably wouldn't be so overwhelmed with things. Um, I like to go into something with a plan and it limits me. It limits my creativity. I think, anyway. And that holds me back with vinyl a lot because I'm just like, eh, I don't know what to do with this. <laughs> Today it was kind of like, fuck it, we gonna figure this shit out. And that's what these two cups came from. That mix is really pretty. It's like Christmas lights, doesn't it? <laughs> Even like this vinyl, um, I've got like bubbles in it and 
Where'd it go? Right here. It's not perfect. Definitely not perfect. Here in the middle, I've got like that. And I kind of like that, actually. I want to do that on purpose. Because <laughs> I like the texture that it gives. But I do want to make this more like grungy and eroded looking. So I think I might like throw some black paint around on it once I get some epoxy on it. So um, I'm really not mad. I kind of like the texture. It's going to add to end goal. But I think if I tried to apply it with transfer tape or something, like I see some people doing it, it would have went a lot smoother. Feathers are pretty cute. This is a mix of the Fallout um, that I used from these three guys. Autumn Equinox, Glowing Greed, and Aquarius. Does it bother y'all that my lives are sideways? <laughs> I just kind of wonder about that. It's because um, I need them to be sideways. That's just the way I record, but I do kind of wonder how annoying it is. <clears throat> no? Well, that's good to know. <laughs> this I don't need. My brush I have to clean off because I will forget to clean it off. Oh, I almost dumped my brush into my wax warmer. That would not have been fun. So, to the 35 people that are still in here. 33 people. Um, <coughs> you can get this glitter for free on your order. What is today, Wednesday? Yeah. Today and tomorrow are the last two days to do that. So on $75 orders, add this to your cart and it will ring up for free. Um, it is beautiful. Really, really beautiful. And there's a bunch of... Um, Vinyls that look really good with this one. The Raven and the Roses being one of my favorites. And there's a new, like... Oh, can I find it under all this mess? <laughs> there's a new one that's red and vibrant and beautiful that would be really nice with it, too. <clears throat> this one. be great with this color especially with the the yellow kicking in it you know what I mean the flash that you can't see very well in the jar it would link with that yellow I'm still working on Christmas I can't buy things <laughs> yeah I need to I I simplified Christmas I used to do working on Christmas I can't buy things <laughs> yeah I need to I I simplified Christmas I used to do like really big crazy shit for Christmas um but I drastically simplified it so now like I buy one thing for like my son and he gets one thing for me and then we do the stocking we fill each other's stocking you know and that's simple Christmas doesn't have to be crazy and of course you buy for you know other people who are special to you but I, um, I simplified it a lot. I was just, I feel like I was spending a lot of money unnecessarily because I was supposed to, you know? So I don't anymore. <laughs> it's nice. And we started celebrating Christmas early. Um, so Christmas Day isn't so chaotic anymore. Because you know everybody has expectations for you on the holidays. But when you celebrate early, it's a lot calmer because you're not rushing around on the day of. You can actually enjoy it. The glitter is just gorgeous. Thank you. I appreciate it. Oh, uh, look at my vacuum. I can lay out the colors that I used today. Oh yeah, that's 
a lot. That adds up quick. <clears throat> I, I do understand. My mom, um, we're Italian. My mom is one of five. Um, so we have a pretty big family. <laughs> so Christmas can get really out of hand if we don't do the whole drop names thing, you know? <laughs> so these are the colors that I used today. Um, I can't really... the photo because they're wet. Can you show the skull one? Yes, I can show the skull one. Um, hold on. Can I get it without? This is the skull one. He's going to be so cool. I cannot wait. I can't wait to finish him. I'm kind of debating on, um, I kind of don't want to because it's dark. If it was lighter, I would put an iridescent glitter over this. But because it's darker, I don't think that's a good idea. Just to make it stand out from this because they're so similar. That is that one. Hold on. Maybe I can get both in there. There we go. <laughs> sort of. I'm really excited for this one. I cannot wait to add pinstriping to it. It's going to be cool. I guess I should... You know what, I need to get higher on this because Jess is gonna do my live video for me or post it to the website and she's not gonna be able to get a screenshot of what I did so I need to provide <laughs> a spinny moment for her <laughs> so she can use it as a screenshot for the thing. Maybe I should send her a photo, make it easy on her. Is the skull? Yes, me too. I keep wanting to hold the bottom of it. I can't. I really do like the skull though. That was one of the new release vinyl. All of these vinyls were actually just released to the shop um, early this morning. Everything that I used. The glitter, no, but the vinyls, yes. They're brand new. Do you all want to see the vinyls again? Do you want me to go through them again before I get off? For those of you who weren't on here earlier. Um, I need to rinse this off real quick before I forget. Get these in the screen so y'all can actually see it <laughs> without compromising anything. I don't know. All right, so let me get a picture of this real quick for Jess, so it's easier for her later. I have to put all these glitters up now. I'm gonna stack over here to the side too. <laughs> Whoops. Okay. Love your stands. Thank you. I got them from um, I 
I believe the website is Swamp Witch Inc. But if you go on Instagram and search for the user um, comedy actor Mike in his bio, he has the website links to his website. Oh, it has a sub box vinyls in here. <coughs> I do still have sub boxes available um, for this month. It says October, which was dumb. They release at the end of October and run through November. But even though it says October, it's November's box. I'll, I'll fix that for next month, but um, <clears throat> that is still available on the website. So, can I angle this to where it's not glared? Okay. So this one, I freaking love, this one's called Tarot. <coughs> These three are the ones that I use tonight on live. This one is Gothic 8. This one is Gothic 7. These are on this cover over here. And this one is Dark Floral 7. These are just really pretty together. They are perfect. <laughs> so I had to use them together. This one is Gothic Butterflies. It is so pretty. I love it. These two I am putting on a tumbler. <laughs> so this one is Snowflakes 12. And this one is Spooky Christmas 3. So you got like spiderweb ornaments and snowflakes. And snowflakes and skulls so these are great together and I am totally doing a cup with them um, I was gonna do it today but I really wanted to stick with the two that I picked out a few minutes I drive my son to DMV okay I need to get my son to take his uh, test for his learners we haven't done it yet he doesn't have any interest <laughs> I need to get him on board with that this one is spooky floral Look at the skull geode, man. It's like, hello, Ruby. Is this not call your name? <laughs> um, this one is Skull and Roses, and this one is Roses 2. But this is another one that I thought would be really good together. That would be great. And this is the same thing. This is Raven and Roses 5 and then Roses. Um, there are two more that I thought would go really good together. I just really like the grungy look. They would be perfect. The wide brush on your site. A wide brush. Um, the only brushes I had on my site were in a pack of five, and this was the big one, big one in that pack. Is that what you were talking about? <clears throat> this is about to fall in my wax warmer. <laughs> I have a wide brush that I use. That's this one. Um, this is a chip brush from Walmart. It's a three inch brush, I think, and I just glittered it and covered it with UV resin, but I don't sell those. If that's the one that you're referring to. Um, this one is Neon Ravens and Roses, which is a very at least Frank vibe. And then you also have Neon Roses and Rainbows, which would go perfectly with this final. It would make a cute set. Looks like a paintbrush. Oh, yeah. That one's. Um, that's the Walmart one. But you can get any, they, these are called chip brushes and you can get them in, a, a, I don't remember how many different sizes. They have them in several different sizes, but it's just a regular wood handle. I just glittered it. That's my go-to for cleaning glitter off my tumbler. Um, this is another Lisa Frank one. This one's just called Frogs, but it's adorable. I like it. 
Mary Lisa Frank, yes. <laughs> Mary Lisa Frank. Um, and then we have this one. Everybody sees this and thinks Miami Vice. <laughs> um, this one's Synthwave 2. There are two different versions of this. And then I have this other pretty neon one. Now there's like 50 different vinyls that I dropped today. Um, these are just some of the... Some of, a lot of these are new. Some of these are just old ones that I'm just printing out. to Because I wanted to have them on hand. <clears throat> these are the mushrooms. This one's called Mushrooms 2. Look how pretty that is. It's crazy. Thank you. This one's called Geode. Very pretty print. The mushrooms, me too. This one is called Floral. There's a bunch of different floral ones, but this is the OG floral one. <laughs> so there's no number on it. It's just called floral. But I really like this one. I like this um, art style on this vinyl. This is one of the grungy ones. Um, there's a, a lot of red and black grungy ones on there. Um, I want to do something with this. This is another one that Hell's Gates would be great with. I don't know what I want to do yet, but I know I'm going to do something really cool with this. I just have not figured it out. I need to spend some time staring at it and let it come to me. Did you draw all these? I did not. A lot of the, most of these, I think it's safe for me to say that all of these came from AI. I designed them in Photoshop. No, not all. All the ones I showed you so far, except for this red and black one that I just showed you, I believe came from AI. <clears throat> This one is. This one I did in AI. I did them in Photoshop. This one I love. This is Crystals 4. I don't know what I want to do with this yet. I don't have a vision for it, but I have to make something with this. Because it's just too pretty not to. The skull one? Me too. Um, somebody, I, I, I printed that for somebody that's not in here, so I think I can say her name, Jenny. She placed an order the other day and um, she hooked me up with some stuff sometimes, like when I made, <clears throat> when I ordered this from her. She put the bat on there. She put cold glitter on there. Like she went extra. She rhinestoned it. You know what I mean? So <clears throat> she throws extra stuff in there when I ordered from her. So I threw some extra vinyls in there. And when I printed that one out for the first time to send to her, I was in love with it. So I had to print one out for myself too. <laughs> this one is available in several different colors. Um, but of course me, I like the dark antique looking stuff. But this one is called um, Floral Damask. Did you get them? Um, the vinyls are from my website. Is that what you're talking about? Or the coffin? The coffin is from um, El Cree Does Choses here on TikTok. The Tumblr Cradle. Um, this one is Gothic 2. So listen, the other night, was it last night? I think it was last night. Somebody um, in the chat, in the group, they um, they were looking for a certain vinyl and asked me to make one, and I did. I made it for them and posted it um, like within 10, 15 minutes or whatever. So if you guys are looking for a certain vinyl and you can't find it anywhere, um, bring it up in the chat. And if it becomes a thing, and I'll just make a separate chat in the group for that. So you guys can just throw it in the chat when you're looking for a certain vinyl. Um, Cause then I can just make it for you and post it on there. Um, this one is library three. Now I've got a couple different spooky libraries, but this one is my favorite. Um, again, I don't have a plan for this yet. I think it'd be kind of cool to do half this half wood grain. Maybe do something with that, like a mushroomy color wood grain. That might be neat. The spooky books. Or there's a couple different spooky books on there. A 
couple different ones. They're all really cool. Um, I do have a couple turquoise ones. Now this on camera, it looks a lot more blue than it does in person. It is very teal in person. I don't know if you could see my, um, hold on, let me get this down. Wait for the camera to catch up and you can see what I mean, the color difference. See how blue it is? Oh my gosh, it's crazy looking. But it looks a lot more blue on camera than it does <laughs> in person. Let me get that away before it turns into a whole kaleidoscope over there. They are very teal. Um, this one is turquoise two. This one is turquoise four. There are a couple different turquoise ones that I added. I think, I don't know if it's one more or two more. I think there's two more. But they're very cool. It looks more blue for you than it does for me. It looks more blue. You're getting teal on your side? On my iPad, it looks very blue. But they are very, very teal. <clears throat> these, oh my gosh, I just, I love how cohesive these are. Um, so this one is Western 3 and Totem. I love the totem. It's so freaking cool looking. But together, they would make a really cool cup. And then even with the wood grains. And I don't have regular wood grain on my website. I try to get really like unique wood grains that stand out um, and have a lot of definition to them. And I have other colors, but... Um, I can add like regular wood grains if you want them. I just I wanted something with character. But these would go great with the totem and the western one. Beautiful prints. Thank you. And then this one I'm in love with. I, I don't know what I want to do with this yet. But it's so pretty. I don't know what I do with this yet. It is so pretty. And the colors are so vibrant. <coughs> I don't know. And then these, these um, are called Zen. This is Zen and Zen 2. Um, I do want to do some more Zen based designs, um, not like duplicates of this in any way, but um, just that same sense of like nature and peace when you look at it. But um, these are very pretty. I was actually going for tarot style art, and then they came out with these um, when I was messing with the AI in Photoshop, and I was not mad. I completely fell in love with them. They're so pretty. I think it'd be pretty too with a navy background. But <clears throat> these are. Um, some of the new vinyls, some of these are old prints. Some of these are new prints, the turquoise ones, tarot ones. The, there's a ton of skull ones, okay? So judge me if you want to, but I kind of fell down that rabbit hole. Um, who are the ones that are half there? This one. There are a ton of skull. I have some skull camo. I have some gothic camo that I just put out. Um, if you want to see the prints, you can go in the Facebook group. I just posted pictures of all of the new prints. Um, but they are, of course, on the website. If you look at vinyl, you can filter from new to old, and it'll show you all the new stuff up front. Do you have anything tarot? I do. I have templates that are tarot. I think I have two tarot templates. I might be lying to you. I do. I have two tarot templates. And then I do have a couple tarot designs. Um, now, some of them, like this one, I consider tarot. But I do have one that is a pastel tarot. Um... And then I have a, another tarot that are actual tarots. Like, they're not the traditional cards, but um, there, it's very clear that they are tarot designs. <clears throat> but there are some more <clears throat> um, 
they're not AI tarots, but there are tarots that I found on Creative Fabrica that I really liked their graphics and I want to use those graphics to build vinyls with them. I have them saved, I just haven't done it yet. But that is a thing. But it's 544. Um, my voice cracked when I said that. <laughs> and it's late and I need to eat something. So I'm going to get off of here. But um, these are the cups from today. And I am absolutely in love with them. They're so cool. I am going to stripe these off in black. I think that will isolate the glitter from the vinyl really nicely. <clears throat> this one I don't know. I don't know what color I'm using on that one. But um, I do know that my pinstriping is going to extend out here. I think I'm probably going to use a gold. I need to do something to isolate the skull pattern from this rose pattern because the colors are so similar. It almost looks like it's one big sheet. I'll figure it out though. But they're really nice. I like them. I'm really happy with how they came out. Um, but... That's my wax warmer. My brush almost keeps falling in there. This one. That's why I took it out. But, um, <clears throat> yeah, that's all I got for you guys today. So, um, I'm going to hop off of here. But if y'all need me for anything, hit me up on Instagram. TikTok is not a good way to get in touch with me. I don't get my messages. It sends it to some, like, request list or something weird. I don't know. But, um, <clears throat> Instagram. The chat on the website comes to my phone. It pops up just like a text message would. Or you can email me, Chris with a K, K-R-I-S at cultglitter.com. Um, and either one of those I'll, I'll get and respond to pretty quickly. But yeah, that's all I got. So use code SPIRIT right now. Save 10% on glitter. And if you have a $75 subtotal or you're close to it, add this to your cart. Because if you have a $75 subtotal, this will be free. Um, and that expires at midnight Thursday Eastern time. So today and tomorrow are the last days for that. Um, <clears throat> and yeah, that's all I got. But thank you guys for hanging out, and I will talk to y'all again on Friday. Bye.